Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gabe Snow. We are going to be diving back into some more Chronicles 2022 WWE. Uh, I ripped two of these on the channel and uh, absolutely loved it. Absolutely love Chronicles. I'm a big fan of Chronicles. Didn't know they had WWE until recently, so I had to find some. And I found some and we ripped two boxes. We didn't pull anything crazy, um, but... I loved a lot of what we pulled, and that's what matters because that's what I do this for. Obviously, value is exciting. If we get value, you know, there's the potential that down the road I might get rid of it or part with it and, um, you know, use that money to buy more cars <laughs> because that's, I feel like, what most people do in the hobby. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I just love ripping cards, and WWE holds a special place in my heart, and these uh, Chronicles have a lot of older, um, you know, WWE players in there you know the big names and stuff like that so we're gonna get right into this and uh we'll go over everything here in a second as usual guys thanks for stopping by the video if you like the video once you get into the video a little bit more throw me one of those thumbs up down below and subscribe and you can see some more content um let's go through this real quick before we get in here um we have six packs in here with uh, seven cards per pack. We're looking for our holograph, uh, holographics, optic chrome cards. Um, also, there's like red autograph uh, parallels. That's the exclusive for the blaster boxes. So there's going to be 42 cards in here. Um, there's a lot of sets in here. Up here at the top, it tells you all the sets, you know, going through like absolute origins, rookie star, uh, rookies and stars, blacks. Are, there's so much. Um, Chronicles being the main thing, being that this is Chronicles. So there's a lot more Chronicles in here. You Usually from the last video, we pulled minimum two to three chronicles cards um out of every every pack but here's all your other stuff all your your very uh your variations and like your numbered cards and stuff I'm trying to get the focus better so you guys, guys can really see it but it's just really not wanting to do it one thing i switched back to my webcam instead of using my phone kind of hate that because my phone i could at least like kind of tap it and tell it to focus on a certain spot my webcam just kind of does whatever it wants, so it really makes it hard for those things, um, letting you guys read. But most of you guys are going to know what the inclusions are in here. Because I sure as hell am not going to know. <laughs> if we pull, we pull something crazy, I'm probably not going to know. You know, this is a learning process for us um, on this channel and uh, for me. This is going to be our last pack. Feels feels like it should be the last pack. We always do that on the channel. It's worked. It worked in Garbage Pail Kids. I think that's like the only time it has worked so far where our last pack had some heat. And that was a numbered card, if I remember correctly. All right. I really should have looked up this girl's name because I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. And I know that I would say Asuka, but I don't think that's right. I believe I've seen from watching other people rip WWE because I love watching people rip too. I believe they said it a different way. So I apologize. Probably mispronounced. But I think she's actually the first card we pulled last time in our first pack. A Chronicles of her. I'm not sure. Lex Luger. Another card that we definitely pulled before. Can we not pull a lot of dupes? There's a This set is massive. So can we please? Razor Ramon on the Bronze Prestige. We pulled, a, we pulled like three Razor Ramones. Um, in our select video. <laughs> Aaliyah on the black. I love that. I'm good with that card. Sick. Wendy Chu. Rookies and stars. What? How cute. She's got her little like tumbler. A little like teddy bear. And her big old pillow. This is adorable. So this is a next. Uh, an NXT I'm assuming person. Nikki Bella, yeah, it is that NXT. Whoops. And Nikki Bella, we call uh, we pulled Bria, uh, or Brie, is it Brie? It's Brie Bell, right? I don't know. One of the, the her twin, we pulled her twin in the other pack of an Origins card. Can't remember now, and it's gonna bother me. It's Brie Bella, right? They were after my time, so I'm not extremely familiar, except that one of them was married to John Cena, right? I don't think they are anymore. And a John Bradshaw Layfield on the playoff. Not a bad first pack. Names I was familiar with. 
continuing to wonder if it is Brie Bella or Bria Bella now. I don't know why. Like I said, it's not. They're after my time. I am like attitude. I'm 32. I'm very much like attitude era. That was really when I was into. Speaking of, there's John Cena. Um. That's really where I'm from. So like a lot of those names or people kind of before there are going to be the people I'm more familiar with. Um, like I said, I am getting back into WWE. I've been watching the like bloodlines. I'm watching a video on YouTube. It's like two hours long, just kind of recapping bloodlines and that storyline because I know that's the main thing right now. Nikita Lyons, rookie car on Chronicles. Robert Roode, I'm pretty sure I've had this exact pack. Kind of hate that for me. Bam Bam Bigelow on the Bronze Chronicles. Alba Fire. Is that right? I don't know. On the Elite. Not, not familiar with her. Biggie on the Luminance. Get well soon, Biggie. I know he's out right now, I believe, with back injury. Triple H on the legacy. Love it. Yeah, the beginning of that pack, believe in the same orders exactly how we pulled another pack. <laughs> so it's like, oh, please don't have like literally an entire duplicate pack. Hey, Stone Cold Steve Austin, we've pulled this card before. Not mad. I'll take multiple of it. It's fine. This is, like I said, this is the era I, I grew up in. Triple H when he was known as the game. <laughs> and what was that? Oh, oh my God. What was the group? DX, right? That he was in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And another Rhea Ripley. We pulled this. I'm, I'm happy to pull Rhea. A Booker T. Spectre. Or Spectra. I did that last time, too. It's Spectra. This is kind of cool because I'm going to a convention to, starting tomorrow. It's uh, this whole weekend. It's in Indianapolis. It's a horror convention. And I have no idea why. <laughs> but Booker T is going to be there. Maybe I'll get him to sign this. It'd be kind of sick. Fucking Booker T. Odyssey Jones on the bronze black. I like these black cards. They're really cool. Never bought a black product. Gunther on the Origins. Ronda Rousey on the Absolute. We will take Ronda all day. Loved watching her when she was in the UFC. Personally, I haven't seen her in the WWE yet. Um, hopefully soon, if she's still in the WWE. <laughs> like I'm obviously not current because I'm just trying to get back into it. And a rated rookie. Gonna mess the name up. Sola Sequoia was would would be how I would pronounce it, but I don't think that's accurate. Um, but I know that this this gentleman here is a good card to pull right now, if I'm not mistaken. And I absolutely love rated rookie cards in general. So we will slide that in a penny sleeve right away. Love rated rookie cards. All right, this has been pretty pretty solid so far. up a little bit here all right ready bossy Sid vicious Michael Hayes rock would it be Raquel Rodriguez I would assume that's Raquel on the playoff bronze. Ginny on the XR. Alexa Bliss on the season ticket. And a Cameron Grimes for score. I'm going to move this Ronda Rousey over to this pile. Wasn't familiar with a crazy amount of, of that pack. It's the only problem is like if it's not like Attitude Era 
for like the biggest names, I'm not going to be like, I know Alexa Bliss is a big, bigger name, but I just, I'm personally not familiar. All right. Jaeger Reed. Reggie. The, the, it's so weird. If you go watch my other Chronicles break, we did two blasters just like we're going to do in this video. And some of these packs, the Chronicles cards in the front are literally the exact same. I'm pretty sure. I know I pulled him and I know I pulled him and I think they were in the same order. And that's just kind of shitty because there's a hundred base Chronicles, I think. And I feel like there should be a little bit more variety then. Brett Hitman Hart. Shayna Basilier on the certified. Pretty cards. The certifieds are just gorgeous. Nice hollow on them. Tiffany Stratton, rookie card for the rookies and stars. <laughs> Razor Ramon again. We pull a decent amount of Razor Ramon in our uh, WWE products as a whole. And Raquel Rodriguez on the playoff uh, again, right? Isn't that the same exact card? Yeah, <laughs> we got the bronze before. Okay, so it's a little different. But... Oh, that's 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 okay. We'll let it slide. All right, last pack. Hopefully, some good stuff in here. Then we have our other blaster box. We'll jump into. Hopefully. Really hard to hit good shit out of Chronicles, honestly. I love Chronicles and I'll continue to rip Chronicles just because of the variety you get. But when it comes to like actually hitting something, I don't think I ever have. I've opened a lot, like across a bunch of sports. Big Boss Man, Undertaker. Once again, we've definitely pulled. Oh my God, I don't even want to see that Bobby Lashley. I can already see it. We pulled so much out of the other blasters and I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> Victor Lopez. Uh, it's a different card, though. It's, uh, is that Luminance? Ooh, a big E. Bronze Illusions, a sick card. Is this Luminance? No, Phoenix, that's right. Duh, that's what that symbol is. This is a sick card. I like the Illusions cards. They're really pretty. We got a decent amount of big E in our collection. Okay. Once again, I, I, I just, I don't know her name in the proper way to pronounce it, but we got her on the season ticket. I actually love the way her makeup and her hair and her outfits have been in the pictures. So I need to find out more about her. Drew McIntyre on the score. So that was not that great of a last pack, in my opinion. But moving on to the next blaster box. Let's see if we can change it up see if one blaster box is better than the other uh, i didn't say it in the beginning of this video i said it in the beginning of my other video my big wants in here are going to be anything trish stratus <laughs> i love trish stratus i she was just one of my favorites growing up um i did pull a score of her in the last blaster uh box video we did of this and uh yeah so i'd love to do that again this one feels thicker than the rest Go with that one last, and I also want to do this one second to last. I feel like that one's got something going on too. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, we pull something. Because as of now, out of the four blaster or three blasters we've opened out of the four, there hasn't been anything too crazy. But like I said, not the easiest with Chronicles. The Rock Base Chronicles will take that all day. Any any the Rock, because he's from my time. That's for sure. Love it. And you some Dom, let's go. I'll take any Dom too. Fuck yeah. And it's him and his dad in the same. Oh, this is a great card. Him and Ray in the same picture. I fucking love this card. This card is so sick. Oh my God. They want to stick together. Is it X Pac, right? Or is it X Pac? Nikki Bella on the optic. Really sick card, actually. Like this a lot. It's actually kind of might be a hollow. This does not seem like a normal optic. I think this actually is a hollow. Sick card. Uh, Bodie Hayward certified bronze. Uh, so we pulled this card twice now, but I don't think we had the bronze variant. JC Jane on the rookies and stars. 
and an Electra Lopez Rookie Prestige. A decent, decent first pack, I feel like. Not gonna lie. It's a good pack. Hopefully that's uh heating up, you know. We're getting ready for things to come. Wow. Did not want to open. Like I, I was like committed to open it from that end, and it just said nah. There we go. Macho man Randy Savage. I remember growing up and seeing the commercials with him and Slim Jims. <laughs> like, they were just everywhere. Mandy Rose. A Bailey Luminance Bronze. We pulled this card. This is a nice action shot. We just haven't pulled the bronze version, so happy to get some variety. Brutus Creed on the black. Rookie here. Love the black cards. Full cool set. Harry Funk. On the playoff. Shinsuke Nakamura on the luminance. Another beautiful action shot. I love these, these, you know, landscape luminance cards. And the ultimate warrior on the legacy card. I'm I'm wondering if the if the legacy cards are exclusive to like you know the I'm trying to I, I don't know why I'm spacing the word but basically all the old older you know legacy people you know the people that are from way back when because I feel like all of the ones we've pulled have been you know definitely kind of like the Hall of Famers you know almost Ezekiel. Shelton Benjamin. These are very different chronicle. Thank God. <laughs> Instead of the same base we've been pulling over and over again. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. I haven't pulled any Cody Rhodes, I don't think. Honestly. Wow, D'Lo Brown, four chronicles <laughs> in a row. On the bronze. Moss. On the elite. Axiom. Origins on the rookie card here. To a sick card. The Origins cards are really cool. And a GG Dolan on the Absolute. As always, guys, if you're liking these videos, drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. We have consistent videos coming out here and there. Um, it's all personal, you know, buys and stuff. So as long as I'm still buying, you're going to get videos. And also, let me know uh, if there's any cards in here that you really like that we pulled. Braun Breaker Rookie. Like that one. Umaga. Not familiar. Kurt Angle. On the Spectra. Pronounced it right for once. I always say Spectre for some reason. Because the A and the R look very similar. Like, it's really hard. But, sick card. This one here. A Paul Bearer on the Illusions Bronze. So we pulled this card, but I don't think it was a bronze. Sick card, though. The Illusions are just really good cards. I like them a lot. Carmelo Hayes, a rated rookie. We take rated rookie all day. I feel like when I was watching NXT a little bit at the beginning, I think it was like the end of last year, he was pretty big name in NXT if I'm not mistaken so I'm happy to pull that Edge on the season ticket from Contenders and Superstar Billy Graham on the score not a bad pack alright two packs left these are the last two packs these are the last two that I put there on purpose because I just felt like there was something about them See how wrong I was. Hopefully they're not just duds. Captain Lou Alban is it Albano or Albano? Doesn't have the little I don't remember what that's called above the end, so it should just be Albano. Mr. T. 
T-Bar on the Bronze Chronicles. Ooh, a Theory Illusion. Is that a Red Illusion? I think it is, though, because, like, a normal Illusions doesn't look like that. So that's kind of a cool one. We've pulled this card before, the Rated Rookie of Gable Stevenson. I mean, he's not a bad one to pull, to my knowledge, so I'll, I'll take it, especially because I like Rated Rookies in general. So we've pulled this base one, and we've also pulled uh, a bronze of this. Ben Baylor on the season ticket contenders. We've pulled this card before. And another Trish Stratus on score. I wish... I wish we'd pull different versions of Trish Stratus. We pulled the, uh, so that's kind of crazy that we pulled her twice now, and it's only been this card. I mean, I'm not mad. It's just kind of wish that uh, it was a different set because I know she's in some other sets. But we'll take it. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to complain. We said we want Trish, and we got Trish. So, and we got some other good cards in this. In these blasters, you know, there's been some other ones that I haven't pulled yet. And like that Dom, that Dom with him and Ray together in the same photo. Like that was a solid card for me. I like that one a lot. All right, let's get some heat. Please give me something. I love how I made these two the last ones. And honestly, that pack wasn't that great except for the Trish. <laughs> Ultimate Warriors or Ultimate Warrior or Ronda Rousey. Commander Aziz. Beth Phoenix on the bronze playoff. Big E on the certified. Gotta love these certified cards. Gorgeous. A pre Bella. We pulled this card on Origins before. Man, this last pack is not giving us anything. Can we end it on something just crazy? Bam! Liz, <laughs> Liz, uh, Liv Morgan. Absolute. Base. <laughs> Man, what a what a shitty ending. <laughs> there has not been nothing too crazy out of these uh these chronicles, uh these blasters. Nothing crazy. We have not pulled anything numbered, we haven't pulled any signatures, we haven't done anything like that. Um, but there's been a lot of good cards. Um, and that's what matters when it comes down to it. All this is just for my personal collection, uh, as of now, until I decide to finally part with stuff. Um, so, you know, eventually I wouldn't mind piecing out, obviously some of the base. I just haven't done it because it's time consuming. And like, I'm, I know it's a whole thing to figure out how do you even do it. I know on eBay, you can send them basically in a standard envelope and there's a way to like do it tracked and everything for really cheap. Just don't know how to do it. So eventually I would like to do that to get rid of the base and stuff that I don't want or even parallels or inserts that I'm just not personally connected to, but. I just haven't went down that rabbit hole yet. I just really enjoy ripping. But we got another Trish. Same one, unfortunately. So I would love to get some more Trish in my in my collection. I want to see if there's a trading card of her in that. It's like a purple. From what I remember, if memory serves, it's like a purple kind of like jumpsuit that she wore at some point. You know, back when I was younger. I know I had like a magazine with her in that. And I was like, because like he was like the crush, you know, for me in the WWE. But all right, guys, once again, if you like the video, make sure you put a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Let me know if you pulled anything great out of Chronicles WWE, um, anything you liked out of these rips. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.